guys, Attorney Mike Carvin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today I've got an interesting one. I called it a uh, funny court appearance, but really uh, there are three clips. The first one's funny, the second one's charming, and the third one is just interesting. So, so there you have it. Let's do it. Court calls case, people versus Terrell Wyndham. Windman, excuse me. Amber here is listening on behalf of Mr. Women. Mr. Women, if you are present, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? Oh, he's present. There's something wrong with this clip, but I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, uh, Mr. Windman, is that Mr. Windman? I don't know if we can hear you. Now we see boxes and you're walking around and something's a mess. Um, Mr. Mr. Women, you need to put on some clothes. Um, I don't know who you are, but please, oh Lord, um, Dip the camera. Cut, cut that camera, please, Mr. Tang, because I don't know what's about to happen there. Um, ooh. and the only thing I've got to say is sit ups, that would help. All right, so, um <laughs> Just saying, Jeez, you gonna show it all to me? I'm gonna tell you what I think. <laughs> yeah, Anna, I have a uh, tried to be in. Was contact. that your client, Miss Harris? <laughs> With Mr. Women, yes, Your Honor. That was Mr. Women. <laughs> I you, think I'm recognize? not. Sure. How do you recognize him? Never mind. I'm not sure. I, I haven't talked to him, but to I don't want to hear it. I don't know how you recognize him. <laughs> so you, I will pass Ooh. that. You you give him a call, tell him two things. He needs to work on his audio and he needs to put on some clothes. No problem, Yanni. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, and tell him sit up. Sit up, they work. They they <laughs> did. Just saying. All right. Court calls the case. People versus Henry Williams. Oscar says, hit like and subscribe. Well, and hit the bell notification. Thanks, Oscar. I always that. Well, that was good times. And this next little bit is just, uh, is, is what I called charming, which it is. We're down to the 171st there with uh, Judge Ron Hell and uh, my, my new buddy, Derek Wyatt, who, by the way, uh, broke down uh, the Hillegas case with me the other day, and it was it was really fun. A lot of talk with Mike gets mentioned, and I, I just kind of enjoy this. It's just them being um, sort of informal for a second before the call starts, and, th and then they get very serious. Mr. Wyatt, let's take care of Ante Torres. Mr. Wyatt, are you with us? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. You were, I didn't realize you were in the waiting room when I called your name. I'm sorry. No, that's it. Okay. I've, I've been trying to juggle courts. I've been trying to juggle courts this morning, and, and I haven't made anybody happy. <laughs> no, no, don't you worry. I was a bit late today because I had another commitment. So I lost several lawyers, so I'm patient. I'm not angry today because you guys aren't here. I'm Did you see all the compliments you're getting on KLAQ for the last two days? No. Why? What am I doing? I'll, I'll uh, uh, well, it's from the, it's from the video that, uh, where we were in court from, from a while back. Wow. And now I guess KLAQ is just picking up on it. Um, and, uh, they, they did, uh, they did like a, I guess they've got like a podcast or they, they got something. Justin sent me a link where they, uh, you know, you can read, you know, they wrote a story about it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you read all these stories, even if they're about me, the person who's mentioned the most is you. Really? Oh, the judge was great. He was this and that. My comments are most like, oh my God, look at this guy's beard. He needs to comb his hair, blah, blah, blah. But then after we get into it, it's like, oh, my God, I really like this guy. This is pretty good. That's a, hey, that's great reasoning. So, you know, I got ridiculed and complimented all in the same, same show. I've told you, Mr. Wyatt, this is great advertisement for you. This is fabulous yes. for you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's working out well. God, God really blessed me on that one. Derek, are you an only child? Uh, you know I am. Oh, there you go. You, you've made comments about it before. <laughs> you look great. I like your background, by the way. 
No, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's why I had uh, that. I had my little girl, and then I'm like, you know what? I guess I need one more child because I don't want her to grow up exactly like I did. That's I want her to be a little more leveled out. That's <laughs> a um, little bit more. <laughs> let me tell you, that may not be much. That may not be be much, you know. Oh but, God. But Mr. Wyatt, that's awesome. Really, that it really is a, 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 a beautiful comment, a compliment to you. The comments that I read from Mike, Law Mike, is it Law Mike? Were awesome for you. We're yeah, awesome. Law Talk with Good. Mike. Yeah. That's it. Well deserved. Well deserved. And I'm kind of in there and I'm getting a couple of good things. So I'm happy about it. Oh, you're getting the, you're getting the majority of it. Oh, that's awesome. Because I generally get bad publicity. So this is awesome. <laughs> Come, coming from the people, like literally tens of thousands of people, you're getting nothing but great reviews. I, I've looked at like a lot of comments. There's like hundreds of them. I don't see one next one. Not one. That, that, They're all just singing phrases. That makes me feel good because generally I generate ugliness. And so I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that people like what they see. That's good. Yeah, so they're probably going to be tuning into court more. I've gotten a lot more subscribers from YouTube. Let's put it that way, Mr. I'm sure. <laughs> it's kind of booming. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt, for sharing that. I'm going to go check KLAQ. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely. Let's take care of Mr. Ante Torres. Well, that was fun. I couldn't uh, resist it with Law Talk with Mike being mentioned. It, it, I just sort of enjoyed it. And then they, they they had this little chit chat, which, by the way, is completely normal. It happens in court calls throughout the country every day. Um, and and then you you can kind of see as we go to the next thing. It's it's a case, and it's a very serious case. And they just turn on a dime. It's all business. Everybody, the uh, the defense attorney Derek, uh, the judge Ren Hell, the prosecutor is 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 laser focused on it and thinking all right what's the best thing to do here well, let me go ahead and call the case 2016 3558 announcement of counsel please mark spin for the state state is ready your honor uh derek on behalf of mr Perez, respectfully ready to proceed judge great thank you and you you recognize your client Ms. torres mr wyatt yes ma'am yes i do and then, Ms. Torres, do you recognize your attorney mr wyatt yes your honor let the record reflect that both have identified each other. Did you guys know that we're set for trial on March the 7th in this case? You guys, Mr. Spain? I, I did not know that, Judge. Uh, however, I am uh, I would ask for, I'll be asking for continuance on this for this reason. Uh, one, she is, uh, she's a resident, so I can't take any type of generous deal like probation. Because that's, that's what they were offering. I can't take it. Number two, I sat down with an hour for an hour with mom and daughter and they told me a horrific story about how mom was beaten tortured starved choked intimidated uh, everything into doing this stuff and after you sit and listen to mom's story and daughter's story and all the things they have to say you will just absolutely tears will come to your eyes it's just it's so horrible so i I don't know the. I'm having to search for some of the uh, the motions that I want to file, um, because I know we're going to have some foreign language translation issues that we're not going to resolve before March, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to probably try to find somebody that's a battered battered wife syndrome uh, expert, expert to, to testify and explain what's going on here. I'll probably also ask for uh, some type of uh, some type of diminished capacity. Uh, I'll probably have like Dr. Schutte or somebody because I realize that might not be an absolute defense, but it's definitely relevant in punishment. Well, it's mitigation. It's mitigation. Yeah, there's so there's there's a lot of just horrible things. And I mean, uh, so this is interesting. So he, he starts off and says prosecutors offered probation, which is usually a good offer. And he, and he describes it as generous, which is uh, very deft because it is. And then, and then he just drops in there. She's a resident. So I, the way I read this, and I don't know, I, again, I don't do criminal defense, but the way I read this is I can't plead her to it because she'll, she'll get, uh, she'll, she'll have immigration problems if I do that. And, uh, despite the fact that they've made an offer that I think is generous, I cannot recommend to my client to do it. And here's the reasons why, why these things happened. Um, but you'll see as the clip goes on, he was appointed in this. So I, again, I don't do it, but you know, I've not heard of anybody getting rich on appointed work. 
So he is absolutely going to the mat uh, for this client uh, on an appointment. And it's just interesting to see. To be honest with you, after after hearing her tell her story, it, it really touched my heart. It really, really did. Just because, you know, for a short period, I got a glimpse of what her life was like for so long and why this kind of stuff happened. And he's the other guy's a registered sex offender. He's in the pen. He's an abuser. All that type of stuff. So didn't he, didn't he get indicted and in serving time for this offense too? Weren't they co-defendants yes. in this case? Yes, ma'am. They were co-defendants. So, so honestly, Mark, I'll, I'll give you a call, Mark, and talk to you about it. But I think you've already got your pound of flesh from the responsible party. Uh, and this person, uh, Elizabeth, is just the, uh, or Ellen Dean, I'm sorry. Ellen Dean, she's just another victim. She's just another victim in this whole circumstance. I will, <laughs> I will. I will allow you, Mark, I will allow you to talk to my defendant. I'll allow you to talk to the witness, anybody, because I guarantee you, you will not be able to hear this story and then want to want to punish her or hold her responsible for the, the conduct that happened. And, and I appreciate that, Mr. Wyatt. And we're you know, that's something uh, that I I want to do. That is uh, I, I'm looking through the notes. That's not something I even see here or even a mention of immigration status. So I understand uh, uh, where you're coming from. Just I want to make sure I've done my legwork. But uh, with with the circumstances surrounding this, yes, let's let's talk. I knew about the trial setting, uh, but. Uh, uh, well, I, I would also ask your honor that Mr. Wyatt and I have a chance to talk and for me and uh, victim advocate or to even uh, sit down with uh, these folks. And Mr. Wyatt, obviously, uh, you'll, you'll need to be present. Uh, I would ask. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Mark. So uh, you see that not only he's doing a really good job advocating for his client, but the, the prosecutor's um, swayed by this and saying, yes, yeah, so before we proceed with this, why don't we do that? It's a bold move that he's saying you can talk to my, to my client. That, I think, again, is out of the norm for a criminal defense attorney to say, you, you've got to be pretty confident that that story is persuasive. The the prosecutor seems to be saying I could be I could be convinced, but I have to I have to justify this. And and, and if we're going to do this, we have to have a, vic, a victim advocate there, so everyone's not forgetting about, um, you know what happened here, and and then we can all get in a room and 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 try to resolve this thing, and that's just absolutely the the right approach from everybody involved, uh, the, the, from what I can see. You know, and I have limited information, but it, it just seems that everyone's open to doing the right thing here. Good idea. This is gonna cost this is gonna cost a lot of money with a mitigation expert, right? With a wife battered syndrome expert. This is gonna cost a lot of money. Foreign and language Mr. translation, all that kind of stuff. Wyatt is court appointed. So and there may be there may be going to have to pay. So I'm going to tell you, Mr. Spin and you, Mr. Wyatt, really engage in serious negotiations <laughs> before all that money is expended. Okay. Yes. yes. Spoken like every judge I've ever been in front of. <laughs> I, I, and I don't blame them. If I was, if I had the robe on, I'd be saying the same thing, but they, but every judge is like, please, please, please. You two work out as much as possible before, before we proceed with this. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, that's what, what Mr. Spin was getting at. We're going we're gonna to say. I know I took in 20 minutes. <laughs> What's that, Judge? <laughs> Mr. Spin. I'm okay. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to have to do that. So let's get that done. Get that done quickly. Done. I, I want to set this up in 30 days. I want to see what you guys have done. 30 days. I think in yep. 30 days you can at least talk and get into some kind of a negotiation posture to say, yes, we can settle it or no, we can't. Yes, okay. ma'am. Great. Yes, okay. We said it is. Thank you. You may be excused on that one, Mr. Wyatt. Did you have another one? Uh, that's it for this morning, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Nice to see you. Thank you for that yes. KLAQ tip. I will go look at it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Great day, everybody. God bless. You too. Ms. Torres, God bless you. Take care of your beautiful daughter. I hope 
your beautiful daughter Ruth takes care of you too. Take care of each other. Thank you, Your Honor, and God bless you and Wyatt. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Take care. Thank you, y'all, and God bless you. Yes. Bye, bye, guys. Well, there you have it. We had a little bit of everything today. It was kind of a fun video. It started, of course, with uh, with Josh Simpson, and that was that was just funny stuff. And uh, and then we we had a couple uh, interesting clips from from uh, Judge Ron Hell's courtroom. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court. And every once in a while, and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.